Hi everybody, this is Phil Stewart from Hybrid Me and Shane Warren from Shanky Golf doing a short video comparing GC2 Skytrack. On the left hand side we've got Skytrack in left handed mode, opposite the GC2 with HMT that's in right handed mode with the intention of being able to pick up one shot and show um, what's being measured in both cases. On the screen you'll see in the top right corner, it's like coming up, um, you'll see in the top right corner that we have the ball data, just beneath it the um, club data, this is for the GC2 that's being measured. At the bottom, you've got the Skytrack range showing the Skytrack data. Shane's going to go through and hit some shots from 8-iron through to driver, and away you go. Alright, 8-iron stock is kind of just over 160. Yep, there will be shots that don't get read by both. However, that one has been. Good start. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you can see the data, so we're looking at things like ball speed, 119.6, very good, GC2 saying 120. If you want to compare the data, you can just pause the video and have a look. Yeah, we could read them out, but you know, 6,000 backspin, 6,500 backspin. Yeah, Skytrack didn't pick that one up. When they're opposite each other, they will interfere with one another, so... And so we'll keep going until we get a few shots with each club picked up. Wait a second, just until he's just in. Oh, that wasn't too good, that one. Yeah, but he got it. <laughs> Pushy. So again, what have we got? Almost 7,000 backspin, 7,000 backspin, 118 ball speed, 118 ball speed. Side spin, uh, 500 with Skytrack and 1000 with GC2. So we'll just hit one more and then probably move on to another club. Skytrack picked that one up, GC2 picked it up. So, again, let's see how the data corresponds. We've got 120 ball speed and we've got 118 on the GC2, so slightly less than GC2, we've got 7,000 backspin, 7,000 backspin, again, pause the video, look at the numbers yourself, um, you can hit another one or move on to... I've got 6 time, six time. Yep. 6 time, kind of 190. Yeah, Skytrack and GC2 have got that. A little bit off the heel as you'll see on... HMT data. I'm so glad I'm not having to hit the shots on this video. <laughs> and here we've got uh, 126 ball speed versus 123 on the Skytrack. So you've got 10 yard is there, 187 on DC2, 181 on Skytrack. Again, we're not too fussed about, like you so said, with the carry and stuff like that. Um, you'll notice there's a little bit of breeze on the uh, range, not much, on Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf. So, as I say, pause the video if you want to look at all the numbers. Something's gone flying. Again, both right, picked up. Let's have a look at these numbers. On Skytrack, we've got 129 ball speed, 128 GC2, 4,400 backspin, 4,300 backspin. They're very close numbers. 200 of draw, 550 of draw. So again, you're seeing very similar numbers. I'll go one ball with this one. So far, I didn't pick that one up on Skytrack, I don't know. Oh, it has. Oh, misread. Oh, misread. And misread, it's gone way left, so we can pick that one up. But again, we've seen a couple. It's really just to show you how things can change or not as you go through the bag. All right, four iron. I've got to start striking these now, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I could have a swing at some point, but I'll only embarrass myself. Nobody wants to see my shots, I'm going to show you of that. That's a good four iron for me, that. So, again, Skytrack, ball speed 135, GC2 says 138, 3400 side spin, 3700 on GC2, and 296 of draw on Skytrack, and 557 on GC2. Now, the, the two units aren't aligned exactly, so it may be that slightly which one says off centre and side spin could be different, but. It's an indication. Then you go putting a hole in my screen after all this. <laughs> I don't hit it that hard. I don't hit two better four arms in there. 
Well, they didn't get that one on the GC. Oh, on the uh, slide track, unfortunately. Do you want to hit one more? I need one more. Yeah, I'll hit one more. We need to pick this one up. It's just behind the red dot. I can do that again. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Oh, the push. Skytrack got it. Push. And GC2 got it. So, they called it as a push, and it's a push. Surprise, surprise. And on Skytrack, we've got 136 full speed, 137 GC2. We've got 3,900 backspin. We've got, well, 3,009 or something. Yeah. And side spin is 95. <sighs> no, no. What am I looking at there? Side spin. Uh, hard anything. So, just yeah, hard yeah. anything, I think. And it's showing a 16 out there, 167. So on to the three wood. So we're getting higher ball speeds now. Hopefully. <laughs> if I hit it good, it might go 150 ball speed. <laughs> this is where I start to think about yeah. that. <laughs> it's all right. When I first hit over there in the last video I did about a year ago, um, I was so... Actually, I was hitting over the GC2, I think, but I'm not certain. Anyway, I'll look at the numbers. Uh, I think I picked up with it. Sky Jump. No. So, not a lot to compare. Sky Jump got that one. And GC2 did excellent. That's what we want. One four three ball speed Skytrack, one four six GC2, slightly higher, uh, 3200 backspin, 3300. And side spin is, um, it says centered again, so minimal, and 200 on the GC2. Yeah, got it again. Have a mystery coming up if it's delayed. No, it didn't manage to no. grab it. All right, do you want to hit one more? You uh, no, <laughs> okay, let's see that. Let's let's drive drive again. Over. When it's being read by both units, you can see. So, we might experiment with where this is positioned with driver, but. GC2's got it, Skytrack's got it. We can't just. Oh, it's horrible still in the driver there. It's never going to hit it, but it's just there. Ball speed 153, GC2 same 155, so not that much out. Back spin 2500 and a bit, 2600 and a bit. And side spin 66, this one actually says it's more faded on the um, Skytrack. So we did meet you. And it wasn't picked up on the Skytrack. Uh, where's that C? Have you found it? Yeah. I found it. So I did my job to be a full win. Oh, I can't see when hit one better. Well, we need two more drives to be registered, that's what we need. <laughs> it's got it. It's got it. It's just a little bit of draw back on the GC2. Yeah. So 154, and it's saying 158 on GC2. 2100, 2400, and 177 uh, draw on GC2, and it's saying 400 fade on Skytrack. So whether that's an alignment issue or. Could be. Or. Just the way it's reading, or, or they could be in thin, or it's just how it is. One of them's right. How'd that feel? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Skytrack didn't get it. We've got to get one. We've got to get one. One more. It's definitely that psychological battle of trying to just, yeah. just go with it and not what worry Skytrack? about it. What Got it. Yeah, I think we should have more draw on the DC2. Yeah, decent. So, 
160 ball speed sky track, 159 GC2, um, 2100 to 2100, bit of draw, and centered effectively on the sky track. So it seems the sky track's showing slightly more fade than the uh, GC2. Um, whether that's line that's line line opposite line each other, don't know. All right. It's not really the purpose of the video, it's more comparing bits and pieces. Well, neither of them got that. Skytrack did. Skytrack did. Skytrack grabbed it. Are you done? Do you want to hit that one? Oh, one more. One more. Oh, he's going to do one more. He's got a little tail made. Forget the tail made ball. It's not as strong a logo, unfortunately, but we'll see how it does. Oh, what's a toe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, coming around nicely, though. Full speed. One five seven Skytrack. One six one GC two. Two thousand one hundred backspin GC two. Skytrack's actually showed a lot more. Two thousand nine hundred side spin actually pretty similar in the mid instance, Skytrack's got more. Um, I think that's probably that's it. it. Hope that's useful for people. Any questions, let us know. Glad to do other videos and talk about the ideas. And thanks for watching. If you, you guys. Yeah, thank you. Bye.